Andy Hudsonite here where I focus on tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. Today we're going to look at confidential mode in Gmail. This is a feature that Google added in uh, not too long ago to give you the ability to send messages that will be secure. Now if you're sending uh, messages that you don't want the other person to have access to after they read it, if you want to send attachments that will you don't want to have access to after a certain amount of time, then this is a great solution. And again, since a lot of us use Gmail on a daily basis, it's just a great way to uh, utilize our email for secure purposes. So I'm going to show you how to use this feature in Gmail and ways that you can use it. Um, and it's, it's very simple to use. It's not anything uh, that's going to have to require you to take any sort of course to learn how to do. It's just integrated right into the Compose box. So here that's what I have open in my Gmail inbox. So let's just set up a message here. You would just use this to, um, it's the, it goes about the same way, writing a message to another person. So you put in their email address, the subject of it, and then, of course, the body of your email that will write in. How is it going today? Obviously, you would have a much more in-depth body here with your email. Now, when uh, you go to get ready to send the email, all you have to do is come down and you'll see these icons down at the bottom. Now, the one you look at the one that has the padlock with the little uh, watch next to it or clock. Uh, and it says turn confidential mode on or off. So click that. <clears throat> You'll be uh, shown a, a dialog here that uh, talks about the confidential mode. And what you do is you set an expiration date. You can have it be one day, one week, one month, three months, or five years. And what the way this works is you set this expiration and you come down here and you ask or you want to you want to put a passcode an SMS passcode and this just gives it a little bit more security now if the person is not opening the message in Gmail then they will be required to use an SMS passcode anyway but if someone is opening this in Gmail on their desktop or the Gmail app on their phone and you have no MSS passcode uh, selected, then they won't have to use the passcode. But if you do uh, check the passcode um, selection here, then they will have to use the passcode even if they are opening it in Gmail. So we won't require it for uh, this situation. Click Save, and you'll see this little message at the bottom content expires on May 9th, 2019, to remind you when it will expire. Now keep in mind that you don't have to be constrained by these dates. If, for example, you send the message and you want it to be, uh, re you want to remove access for that user by the end of the day or even within a couple of hours, if you know they've read it, then you will be shown a revoke access um, message that you can use to uh, revoke that access. So let's go ahead and send it. And I'm going to go over to my other email account. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. You'll see the message here in this box, and it will show you when it expires. And we should note also that you cannot forward, copy, print, or download this email email's contents. Now keep in mind the other person could take a screenshot or possibly use some other type of software to get, the ac to get access to the contents. Um, so that's something to be aware of. Now if we go back to the original message. If we go back to here. Now this is the interesting part that I mentioned earlier is we can actually remove access from so that the other person cannot see it. So if we go back, let's say we go back here and click on it. It's supposed to remove access. That's interesting. <clears throat> Okay, so now it says the email has expired, so they can't see the contents of the message, 
even if they are in their, their Gmail desktop or Gmail app on their phone. So it's a, it's a great thing to, to use when it comes to sending messages that you want to have more confidentiality, messages that you want to have so that people can't forward or copy or download or uh, just revoke their access after a certain amount of time if it's time sensitive material. And so a great feature in Gmail. So please use it and it's a, it's a great way to keep your information, uh, especially if you're sending personal information or even financial information to a friend or, or to a company. This is a great way to protect that. So hope this was helpful and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.